29th. I have huge issues. My weight's not budging. Downward is budging upwards very, very quickly. Insanely. Y'all, I woke up at 2.52 today. Like, and I felt like I was drowning. Um, before going keto, I was told I was going to go into congestive heart failure every day. And I've been wheezing and coughing. And I feel like that's happening. I'm not exaggerating. I have all the symptoms I did before. And the weight is just piling on. Um, I was eating one meal a day. And maybe it's stressing my body out too much i have no clue so we're going to mix stuff up i do have a confession to make and that is on july 4th of july i drank a code zero and became extremely addictive again um i managed all week to cut down to one a day right now right now i haven't had any since yesterday um and it is five so i've gone 20 over 24 hours without one you're like oh what's the big deal what I become a, first of all, it, raise, it messes with my blood sugar. I know this, it messes with my health. I know this, but I am like, if someone offered me a cigarette and I was a smoker and then I had stopped smoking. No, I've never smoked in my life. The point is, I am actually very addicted to Code Zero. When I would reach 16 hours without one, I would fiend and search cabinets and it will be 3 a.m. wanting to go to my mom's house and as soon as I woke up, rushed to my mom's house to get one if I was out of them. Um, I was drinking anywhere from 32 ounces on a day and not realizing just how addicted I was until this past week when I tried to stop drinking them. Um, I didn't realize how much I was drinking. I did not realize how many 12 packs we went through. Um, it's been a lot. A lot and that could be why my weight has drastically gone up I know you're gonna say what you're talking about we can have diet sodas on keto and blah 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 and lose weight um I discovered years ago that I couldn't and having that one thinking I was strong enough and not to have any more was completely dumb because when I work in the yard that's all I crave y'all I wasn't eating I was just drinking oats and I have preached so many times, don't do it to yourself, and then I did it to myself. That is the only logical thing because I was like 225, 220, staying there. Um, when my sister and them were here, um, I ate a lot of fruits like strawberries and stuff like that during that period, um, and my weight never went up. And then I got hooked on Code Zero, and now I'm 250, like 25 pounds in a couple of weeks. All right. Um, so believe what you want, but I truly believe it has a huge thing to do with it. And yes, I did go off my metformin, which has another huge thing to do with it. But I swear y'all, every time I get addicted to code zeros or any kind of diet sodas, um, ZDS I don't have problems with, but I don't really like the taste because I hate stevia. Um, but I have some in the fridge that I might drink today if I start craving. Now, the reason I was able to go off Coke Zero for so many years is it gave me severe heartburn. So, I didn't want heartburn. I didn't want to die. It caused my girl to go crazy. However, it no longer does that. So, that's not stopping me from eating it. So, we are going to meal prep because I need to learn to eat more than one meal a day because according to everything i read on some of the conditions i have it is stressing my body out too much and i should be eating within an hour window of waking up so we are going to try that we're going to try that and the only way that will work is if i meal prep because it's too hot to cook i don't like cooking right now and i like eating cold food it's why i've been eating a lot of hot dogs yes cold hot dogs that i cooked on the grill beforehand or you can eat them raw because they're not raw they're fully cooked in the back I've been eating a lot of sandwich meat, which also does not help me. Um, so to get away from all the dirty, we're gonna do some meal prepping right now. So let's get started. All right, so I gotta make sure this is still good because it's past the Best Buy date. Um, I just went to the meat market. It is totally different now. All the meat comes from a local cattle ranch um, in Chatham, the same with a local um bird ranch it has eggs and birds and all that stuff um i have never tried their eggs so we're gonna give it a shot so it is more money i spent like 80 something dollars and i got four so i got three from chatham local farm and then i got one um 
from here that I'm going to use in different recipes. So I got four 12 um, packs of eggs. I got two things of sirloin. This is sirloin beef. That's all I can eat. Um, and I think that was it. And of course, my mom's uh, hamburger beef too. All right, so I'm just making this up as we go. I don't have some of the ingredients I originally wanted. And I'm doing budget. So that is why we are going to uh, just work with what's here already. So if my ricotta is bad, we'll just throw it away and not use it. Um, these are my tomatoes out of my garden. Okay, this is two pounds of sirloin. I'm gonna make me a pocket. This might end up being a two-part video, as in I'm going to make a bunch of different dishes, and um, we'll see how many of the dishes actually make it into this video. So, I'm also next week sometime or the right at, I have a billion medical appointments coming up for me and my daughter different things like that so I'm gonna be meal prepping a lot and I'm gonna be making a schedule and I am trying to work on my sleep y'all I'm not sleeping it is 7 a.m. I'm still pasting the floors then I pass out for a few hours and then I'm back up so yes yeah, sleep sleep is your foundation without sleep Forget it. You're not going to be a healthy person. Nope. Still good. Okay. So. Got some ricotta. Let me, let me rinse these off again. One of them just came out of the thing today. And yes, most people be like, the one needs to get a little redder. It's okay. It's okay. I remember why I'm cooking this. I'm the only one who eats it. So if I touch something, taste something, guess what? No one eats it but me. Now in the future, I might start cooking bigger things if Dino likes stuff like this, and then we could just share. But usually he's more like a salad or just something that's definitely not keto type person. So let's make this easier for me. gonna be my trash can all right I might have went to I need a bigger bowl like this made like this I gotta go to Target and see I am in love with this pattern I have it in one plate because it's mine we don't like the same plates I also have two like this one in the plastic so I can't break them. so I have two bowls one plate which I'm gonna buy me another plate I think and then I got the cutting board um, I want to do a whole like that kind of pattern for my videos because I think it looks really pretty that are pure white but white just scratches so much more especially since a lot of my videos are going to start getting um, like I'm gonna have prep videos so what I was trying to say is next week I think I have too many appointments but after that I plan on doing daily vlogs again um everything I do in a day um when I wake up looking like crap with no makeup on hair not brushed having my first coffee of the day I'm gonna see if Dino can help me film how I make my first coffee of the day um I'm going to be doing the hmm just in case these are brand new eggs so we're just gonna I'm gonna break them into this just in case these are fresh eggs from someone's chickens okay so I'm gonna do full in the daily life videos um, and I'm trying to make schedules which is hard so I got to get my sleep together I need more hours in the day I have no hours in the day I have hours at night, but no hours in the day. Like, I need to be able to wake up, do my errands, still have time 
to go to the gym. I have two gym memberships, y'all, that I've been paying for for over a year, and I've barely gone to either one, period. Um, so I have Planet Fitness and the Y. So I need my sleep fix. That's number one. We're going to work on that. I don't know how, honestly. I really don't, but we're, we're trying. I am also trying to control my ADHD on just two coffees a day this this is water um just plain plain uh ph balanced water because that's all i can drink with my stomach so i got that going on so right now i've only had one coffee which is a miracle and it's 5 30 um okay so this is from aldi's it's their mushrooms. It is four total carbs for the can, two net carbs. So for vegetables and for vegetables only, for any greens, mushrooms, anything like that, I will be counting the fiber. Um, the same with tomatoes. So basically, we are not going to be counting right this minute, like I used to. It's going. I'm going to be counting differently. Um, just because I want to focus right now on eating multiple times a day. I want to focus on not eating processed food, like as minimum as possible. Like I know the cheese is processed, I know. Um, also, I need to concentrate on taking heavy cream on my diet. I've really become addicted to heavy cream again. I didn't realize how much heavy cream I've been going through. Um, so, we're concentrating on kind of a cleaner, low carb, keto, whatever. So I've been researching the Banting diet, Banter diet, because of Dr. Eric Westman mentioned it in one of his videos. Because people keep saying, you know, his diet is very unhealthy, it's for epilepsy only, and he made it clear in his video that is is he doesn't do the epilepsy ver version. He doesn't do that. If you want to compare it to a diet of that era, it would be the banter diet. Um, which is like in stages. And they do have it free on Kindle to read about it too. Um, but what I'm going to try to do is I'm not calling this any kind right now. I'm not calling it page four. I'm not calling it phase one. I'm not calling it keto. Um, because I don't want people coming at me and be like, well, you didn't count that. You didn't measure that. You don't know, like, how, like, what is that tomato? Um, but I will be measuring some, um, just so y'all know what's in there. It's just right now, I'm not going to be measuring the tomato. I need to get gloves like Wendy has. Because these ones do not work, y'all. No, I don't like it. I am right there with her. I do not like to fill. Especially your bags. Ew, ew, ew. Now steak, I'm all good with because I can eat a steak raw. Does not faze me. But if it's something I will not eat raw, I cannot touch it. All right, hold on. Let me get a good spatula. All right, let me, this will mix it up better. There we go. Instead of fighting the gloves. So basically, we're going to go in with some paprika. Now, the smoked salts would taste amazing with this. However, I'm not sure, and I'm talking about uh, real salt from Redsmond's. I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting like um, a little pizza sauce on it or something. Like growls or something. So, I don't want to add any of those flavors yet. I'm trying to sit here and decide... Do I want to make it more like a pizza? Okay, bell pepper would be amazing, y'all. But bell pepper gives me heartburn and it triggers, triggers sugar cravings really bad. Soda and stuff, like so bad for me. All right, so I had two small tomatoes. Yes, one was riper than the other, as you can see, but it's all good. And there's two different types of tomatoes too. Just gonna throw that in there. If you need to 
not eat those because of nightshades. You can throw whatever you want in here. So this is my dilemma. Do I put the ricotta? Because I also have more I can make too, a different way. Do I want this one to be a bacon cheddar? Like a bacon burger one? Kind of leaning towards that. Might do that. I might use the ricotta for my egg loaf because I'm gonna make an egg loaf. All right, so I'm probably gonna have to touch this. We'll see. We'll see. So I will be doing some egg loaves. I was gonna do egg bites, but I'm too lazy. So I have my Kobe Jack strips, sticks, whatever you call them, sticks. Um, and I decided to just use these instead. This pan is probably bigger than I need, but the other one is too small. So when I used to make meatloaf, I would cover the whole entire bottom in bread around the bottom of it so that it would not, here, let's move y'all away from me a tiny bit. Okay, so that it would not um, have all the grease cooking in all the oil, but that was, Hammer meat I could not really eat without getting sick. Okay. Some more. Might not need all these sticks. Oh, need more on the bottom. Get me some cheese going. You can just cut these up yourself. Um, which I think I'm going to do. Because I could eat these just as sticks. Hold on, let me see what kind of what kind of cheese chops I have. Go ahead and just do this. This is way cheaper, anyways. I should have thought about that. Everything's so expensive nowadays. I'm gonna go ahead and use those two. But as you can see, you can definitely use the sticks of your album. I am totally winging it, y'all. I have not cooked in a good minute. Late night angel game. And this might be too much cheese for y'all. So we know each stick is an ounce, right? I'm pretty sure each stick is one ounce. I think so. And then this is eight ounces and we're not using even half of it. So we'll see. There's at least six here. So we got at least four ounces there. We're going to be using this cheese. All right. Now I'm coming in with my mushrooms. That might be way too much cheese to be honest. So I'm doing it like bacon cheeseburger. So if you can have pickles with no problem, it would be so good in here. I'm gonna put a few pickles, but I have to be careful sometimes because they give me heartburn. My bacon crumbles. And as you see, I am not measuring because I am not worried about calories right now. I, I know it sounds weird, but I have been under eating calories for a while now. And I think my body's stressed bad. So we are going to feed it. We are going to feed it tons of fat and calories and hope it will reverse what's going on in my body. Yes. 
Y'all, I ordered that pickle juice that Wendy's got because I want to put my own cucumbers in it and let it sit for a couple of days. But it still has not come in yet. So these are just deli pickles. So I'm just going to do a couple. All right, so now, since I know this is what I'm making, now I'm going in with Chef's Blend Redmond's Reels Out. And I'm not going to be scared about it because I love this stuff, and it just makes everything taste so much better. So much better. Oh, my God, it smells so amazing. I need to hurry up and cool off because we are going to be doing a grilling series. I'm going to do briskets again. I'm going to do whole chickens again. This is white pepper. It doesn't mess with my stomach at all. So there is so much stuff that we are going to be doing. All right, let's see. So because I'm gonna be using the oven for this, and my next thing, I think I'm gonna be using the crock pot, like the pressure cooker but not on, like, just on slow cook mode. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. I have quite a few things I need to cook. And one is because I'm forcing myself to eat more meals. I need more meals. More stuff for more meals. Okay. Let's try to bury this as much as possible because we do not want that cheese to leave. I mean, we don't even see what I'm doing. All right, hold on. Okay. Just getting it all nice and sealed. All right, so what I'm about to stick in here is not something I'm going to be eating. It is just one more red and so it's It is just to help it help it out a little because no one I was eating these no one else is going to be eating them um so instead of throwing them away I'm just going to use it to help soak up stuff and I didn't put it on the bottom because there is wheat in it actually you know what those are going to burn I don't know what I'm thinking y'all trash can that's what I'm thinking trash can I just don't want it collapsing And I'm trying to think if I have any little cooking pots I could stick in there. But the truth is, I have redone my house so badly that I don't know where anything is. Hold on, one second. Woo! Okay, I have been having severe left shoulder pain yeah don't freak out on me um and severe severe pain in my rib cage and i can't breathe or think when it happens it is like someone is crushing me and stabbing me to death all at the same time i used to get it a lot i forgot what it's called um like i don't know a doctor never told me what it was i just felt like i was dying like i literally multiple times have thought i'm dying of a heart attack because it's every symptom and then they don't find a heart attack um, so basically it feels like someone is crushing my left shoulder blade right now my collarbone area and the pain that made me stop talking for a second is a horrible horrible pain right below inside the the breast left breast area and it feels like someone's taking an ice pick and a hammer when it happens it's horrible all right so we're gonna stick this in the oven but first i made bacon the other day and i forgot and left my bacon pan in there so you yeah. i gotta clean this up throw that away it's a mess all right so i think i'm going to cook it at I think I'm gonna clean my oven out real fast because I spilled some of that grease the other day and forgot. So give me a second. All right, so while the food is cooking and it's making me absolutely starving smelling it, we're gonna come out here. I'm gonna water soon anyways. Um, 
but we're just checking out the garden. I did come and pick tons of tomatoes today. Blight has really taken over. You can see it is, I gave up. Everyone's like, just, just give up. It's just wasting money on the chemicals to try to save them. Um, but I know better next year, right? I have plenty still to pick. These should make it with no problem. Um, I've learned how I'm going to do it next year. It was lessons, learning some lessons. Uh, cherry tomatoes did really great, but then they ended up getting blight too. But it is what it is. Here's my cilantro that I literally planted to create seeds. And we are almost there. Actually, I kind of think we already are there. I got to look up. Um, the cow, it's too bitter because it's, you know, too hot. So we're just letting it grow to be pretty. And so, and I did tons of different tomatoes this year, like different types. Still working on, I'm going to be spraying my roses because they have fungus going on too. This was a hard year for everybody around here that I talked to. Everything got fried, got the blight, got bottom rot. Um, a lot of issues this year. Now, these were all wilted last night, and I drenched them. Like, they were way worse than this. This I can fix tonight as soon as it cools off a little bit more. And I put gallons of water in them. So, I'm going to show you all something. I'm going to show you my experiment. I have not watered them, not touched them in any way, shape, or form, and it is a bucket that does not have holes in it. There is no drainage, and I was told they would drown. There's no way they would live. Y'all, not touch them, okay? They barely have light. Like, I'm about to cut those off, though. Um, no watering at all all season and they have only been in there like a month and a half oh my mom's down watering her plants i'm gonna go visit her so we will we'll see i'm doing experiments doing experiments what works what don't i do have carrots growing at the bottom of this bucket and this one down in here but i don't think they're making in this one maybe it wasn't this one maybe it's that one down in there but that one doesn't look like they're making it um my cucumbers need to go more in a shade next year i've learned they are too much in the sun they are just being cooked and fried so i will be moving where they go next year as well but this has been my life errands and cats and, and gardening and and yeah yeah i need to like i said i don't have enough hours in the day Literally, I have five hours of sunshine before I it's dark again. So I'm trying to adjust my sleep. So the meal loaf has reached 170. So it should be done. Um, see what I was trying to soak up because I didn't I didn't like that kind of stuff. Um, so mm, let me get sheet to put it on. All right, so I'm gonna to try to move it off of that. Really don't know how well this is gonna go. Yeah, to be truthful, this might be an utter disaster. and some cheese here. Let's put that on top. All right. Just stick this back in the oven to get on my way. The egg loaf is still cooking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but we need it to look decent for some pictures. So we're going we're gonna to dress it up. Said, just a little dress up. Mm. 
little parmesan cheese. Okay, now slicing a tomato and putting some mushroom on it would make it look better, but I'm not going to do that. All right, let me take a picture. Bring you in closer. So I think it'll look better on a plate. I did take pictures, but I'm not too sure about that. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. All right, it's definitely cooked all the way. Get it onto the plate. All right, you can see all that yummy cheese in there. Let me show you all that yumminess. So now let's dress this up for a picture. you up and you can watch me dress it up it is a burger so we're gonna do yes it's dirty it's dudes we're just a tiny bit not in a full one mustard Next time I'm going to use my dill weed inside the recipe. So now I need another pitcher. Super hot, but we're going to do a taste test. Um, I don't have a tripod right now available that can face me. So I'm going to do it off cam. Might be too hot. Mm, I'm going to take more than one bite though. Because that, that was just hamburger meat. And that sirloin is amazing, though. All right, let me check on. Give me a second. Egg yolk. Oh, loaf is taking forever. All right, let's see. Now, y'all, onions would have made the difference, but onions kill my stomach. Okay. Mmm. It tastes like a bacon mushroom cheeseburger. Just hot and cooked in the oven. Well, it is almost 8 p.m. It's like 7.40. I'm starving. I'm going to eat this serving. And then we'll try the egg loaf when it's done. Which, you know, might be in another video because this video might be too long. Mm-mm-mm. Messy. Oh, well. I love it. Love it. It is so yummy. However, because it is beef, I can't handle anything bigger than what I had um, because of my stomach issues. So, I think we're going to use these containers. I really do not have a lot of containers. Um... So we're just gonna go with what we got. All right. One day. Maybe I should have used these ones. Then I could have put mustard on the other side, but it's okay. I'm gonna buy some meal prep containers now that I'm doing this. Two.
These are Dino's meal prep containers. I'm not really crazy about these, the shape and stuff. And they're a pain in the butt to wash. See these stupid things come off. Not a fan. Not a fan. Three. Hey, baby. Do you want to eat this meatloaf for dinner? No. Okay. Just want to make sure he didn't want any. Four. You know what? Yeah, that's good. I know y'all are probably saying it should be double what I'm doing. However, this is just about not hurting my stomach and trying to get three meals a day in right now. So, they're just going to be small. This one will be bigger just because I'm only meal prepping for five days. And there's a reason. Because two days out of the week is going to be aimed more towards keto chow. Alright. So, we have our five days of the meatloaf, which will probably be lunches. I have to find containers for the other, the chicken stuff. I mean, like, I don't think I have containers. Let's see what I got. I got one, two, I could use these, but that takes tons of space. I need to get some containers. I don't know, I'll go steal my mom's baby ones. That'll give me four. Let me get the lids for these ones. Alright, in case this is in another video. Or I'll just put this, if, if it turns out that I have to split it apart, you might see this part more than once because it deserves to be in both so it doesn't confuse people. Um, let me see. I need to check the eggs again, which are completely runny. I really think I need a bigger pan. I think that's the problem because they, well, they're starting to rise now. I'm gonna let them, I'm not even gonna poke it. Okay, so, definitely need more containers, but we're gonna start with what we got. First, I'm gonna, well, I'll do a taste test in another video. Probably need a thumbnail of this one. I'll do it in a video. Okay. Y'all, I'm so wishy-washy. It's not even funny. Not even funny. We'll need that for the egg loaf. was not coming out. Oh, something stuck to the bottom. What is with this stuff and sticking? Hold on. Yep. It's got some kind of sticky thing on it. I'm going to have to scrub that out. Alright, so this will probably be my dinner each night. Definitely going to have to go still my mom's in a second. So, it smells amazing and it looks yummy. Definitely make it a mess. Okay. Hold on. Let's get a good bowl for a pitcher that I'll need for the other video. Or... Like I said, who knows? I don't know how these are going to edit. I have a feeling this is very long videos. So I'm feeling it's going to be two. And then we have some for dinner. That's why I took a little bit of the meatloaf. So I'll do 
a picture of that in a minute and the taste test and then the video in a second or another clip should I say in case it's in this video definitely you gotta run to mom's in a second and get two more of these containers I might not have enough of this for five whole nights it might just turn out to be four all right because I'm eating some tonight. I forgot I needed to cook for six nights, technically. So, I'm gonna put this to the side, put the lid back on it so the cats don't get into it. I'll be right back. All right, so I was doing a lot of heavy cream, did not realize how much heavy cream I was going through. Three things of heavy cream a week and had no clue. I thought Dino was drinking it too, but he's not. So, no more heavy cream. So I'm allowing myself my cheese still because I could have four, four ounces of cheese a day with no problem if I was doing page four, which I'm not on normal internet keto. There's no numbers for that. Um, so no heavy cream. Back down to two sweet and loads of coffee because I was doing four, four. Um, and now I'm back down to two today and butter instead of heavy cream because I was doing butter and heavy cream. And I was doing about six of these, which no, no now. Um, and of course my collagen. So I'm back to doing normal. I did not realize how much I had creeped up drinking the Coat Zero. It made me want things were not sweet enough, right? So I was putting more sweet and low, more skinny syrup, and did not realize it until I consciously thought about it today when I went to make my coffee. Did not realize just how much heavy cream I was using. None of that until today. I was like, oh. So I might have been getting my calories in, but it was in the form of heavy cream, right? It was in the form of bad things. Um, also, we are gonna be adding keto chow every day. Um, so even though to some of y'all, this might not be a lot of food. Some of y'all, it might be a lot of food. Because um, I don't think I'll be eating the whole bowl of chicken a day. Because I think that will be too much cheese for me, to be honest. It just got away with me. Um, but I will be doing a keto child every day. I just got to work everything in. So, the reason I am only meal prepping, I was not meal prepping for seven days a week just like four or five because some of those days is just going to be keto chow and eggs. So I don't meal prep for that other than the egg loaf thing. But the egg would be in the keto chow or it would just be keto chow. Like, you know. Anyways, I'm going to shut up and wait to put this stuff away and go in. I was going to eat that meatloaf, but I'm feeling really full right now eating the little bit and tasting the little bit that I did. I think I'm gonna go put it away.